And some breaking news uh, from the Department of Digital Culture, Media and Sport to us here at Sky News, confirming that Channel 4 will remain publicly owned with reforms to boost its sustainability and commercial freedom. Well, in a statement, the department says the DCMS Secretary of State, Michelle Donnellan, has concluded her business case review and announced that Channel 4 will not be sold. Instead, the government has agreed reforms to help Channel 4 grow and better compete in the age of streaming giants. Well, the statement also says plans include allowing Channel 4 the flexibility to make some of its uh, own content Content and a new legal duty to promote long-term sustainability whilst introducing protections to ensure they continue to be an incubator for the independent production sector. It goes on, as part of this package, Channel 4 will now commit to doubling its planned number of new roles outside London and doubling its financial investment in skills. OK, well, let's take this uh, back to Ian King in the city with us uh, on that Amazon story. Uh, breaking news there on Channel 4, Ian. What do you make of that? Well, we, this was, of course, uh, leaked yesterday, so we had an idea that this announcement was coming from Michelle Donnellan, but I think this really uh, goes to the heart of the fact that there's been a change of uh, Prime Minister and a change of uh, Cabinet personalities. Nadine Doris, the former Culture Secretary, Michelle Donnellan's predecessor, was pretty keen on privatising Channel 4. So was uh, John Whittingdale, a former uh, Minister with responsibilities for the broadcasting sector. And actually, it's a debate that's been going on for some 40 years, 40 years. Years. Uh, Channel 4 launched uh, last year, celebrating its 40th anniversary last year. And more or less from the get-go, there have been calls from various people for the business to be privatised. The reason for the rationale that was put forward by supporters of privatisation was that Channel 4 wasn't big enough to stand on its own two feet as a state-owned entity and that potentially bringing in private capital would enable it to compete more effectively with other players in the private sector. A lot of people, though, felt that this was really ideologically driven. There was also a suggestion that, obviously, with the public finances in the state that they are, that uh, Channel 4 might attract uh, a fairly attractive price tag. Some people said as much as a billion pounds, and that would have come in very handy for the government as it desperately tries to uh, reduce the size of the deficit and bring down government borrowing. But I think in actuality, there were very few people who were prepared to come forward and buy Channel 4. It was very, very uncertain as to whether uh, there would have been much appetite uh, from stock market investors, and I suspect that's the real reason why the, the plug has been pulled on this initiative.